Hello sports fans, Evan Inglehart here with MarylandSportsAccess.com and I'm here at the University of Maryland inside the Xfinity Center at Gary Williams Court for the boys 2017 MPSSAA basketball state championships. After the summer workouts, the regular season, and fighting through the tournament, only two teams are left standing in each of the four classes. Starting off in the 1A, it was Edmondson Westside out of Baltimore taking on Fairmont Heights from PG County. This was a close contest. Edmondson actually led 30-28 to at halftime until Fairmont outscored the Red Storm 21-9 to in the fourth quarter to win 65-52, to claiming the school's first state title in 36 seasons. The Hornets of Fairmont Heights are crowned 2017 1A state champions. Moving things up to the 2A level, it was the Clippers of Patterson from Baltimore taking on the Century Knights out of Carroll County. The first half was a slugfest. Patterson led by only one point, 22 to 21. Both offenses were very slow to produce in the third quarter, except for when Ashley Roberts of the Knights, who came off the bench, he hit back-to-back -back threes from the corner. Things were all tied up 27 to 27 with just two minutes left in the third. From there, Jared Mungo with a game high 19 points would play shutdown defense, forcing turnovers and creating points in transition, helping the Clippers take a three point lead. Just like the third quarter, points came at a premium in the fourth with just over two minutes left. Adam Rolfs for the Knights hits a three to make it just a one possession game. After a Patterson timeout, they regrouped. Christian Adams for the Clippers. The big man with a double-double on the night would score inside, extending the Clippers' lead to five points. The Knights trailing by five with less than 50 seconds left in the game, desperately needing to score on offense. Instead, they turn the ball over, being forced to foul. From there, the Clippers would cruise to win 49-43, while being crowned the 2017 two-way state champions, this is the Clippers' second state championship in the past five seasons. Now advancing up to the 3A level, it would be the Potomac Wolverines from Montgomery County going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the engineers of Baltimore Polytechnical Institute. In the first half, the Wolverines had no answer for that man, the 6'8 senior, DeAndre Perry. He was hot from behind the arc. The Temple commit helped give the engineers a 13-point lead, 33-20 going into halftime. Their lead would be cut down to just seven entering the fourth, and in the fourth, things would get interesting. Just a one-possession game with over three minutes left until freshman Raheem Ali turns the ball over. Potomac would capitalize. Malik Moore scores off the mid-range jumper to make it just a one-point game. A minute later, things would be all tied up 55-55 to -55 until Ali... He would almost lose the ball, but he would redeem himself, making a nice move and an impressive floater. On the next Wolverine possession, they'd come away with no points. Polly, they would run the floor in transition. It would be Ali, the freshman, up the court for the easy layup. Just like that, Polly took a two-possession lead toward the end of the quarter. Polly leading by five. They would turn the ball over on the inbounds pass. Ryle Burley gets the bucket off the steal. Potomac only trails by three points with just 10 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Potomac would foul 
DeAndre Perry would head to the line. He had 23 points on the night. He would make the first free throw to make it a four-point game. He would miss the second. Potomac, they would push the ball up the court. Gary Robertson somehow pulls up behind the arc, making a crazy three. The Wolverines trail by just one point, but they run out of time in this one, losing in heartbreak, 64-63, to while the Poly Engineers are celebrating on the floor. They've just been crowned the 2017 state champions. Saving the best game for last in the 4A, the Perry Hall Gators out of Baltimore County taking on the Cougars of Quince Orchard from Montgomery County. Quince Orchard coming off a crucial upset over the nationally ranked Wise Pumas in the semifinals. They would lead 8-6 after the four, first quarter. Matthew Kelly right there had two threes. But the Gators, they would actually lead 24-17 at halftime, having a crucial 8-2 run in the second quarter. Quince Orchard, they would cut the lead down to only three before a very intense fourth quarter. The Gators started the quarter by attacking the rim. Anthony Higgs, the big man, slams the ball down with authority. The Cougars, they would not, not back down, though, with just under three minutes left. Daniel Dorsey would actually tie the game up with that shot, 46-46. to 46. With under 30 seconds left in the game, Kelly would drive to the rim. He would end up getting fouled. Kelly, who finished with 22 on the night, he would fight through pain, and he would make both free throws. The Cougars take a two-point lead, 48-46. to With just 10 seconds left in the ballgame, the Gators have one last chance to win or tie. Laquille Harden, the 6'9 senior, drives to the rim and makes the shot. Everything's all tied up. The Gators Almost won the game off the last chance steal and shot attempt by Higgs, but the game's all tied up 48-48, to both teams heading into overtime. In overtime, the Gators would take a quick five-point lead until Colin Cruz would be found wide open for a three in the corner for the Cougars. They trailed by just two points with 20 seconds left in overtime. After two Gator free throws, Johnny Fierstein, the 6'4 senior, comes down the court. He pulls up for the three that's good off the glass. Just a one-point game with eight seconds left in overtime. The Cougars quickly fouled Harden. He would make both free throws, turning it into a three-point game with just a few seconds left. Quince Orchard with one last chance for a three, but they turn the ball over. Perry Hall wins in overtime, 59-56, to becoming the 2017 4A state champions. Congratulations to all the players, parents, coaches, and fans of the championship teams. Thank you guys for watching. If you would like more in-depth stats, articles, photo galleries, make sure to go to MarylandSportsAccess.com. For now, at the Xfinity Center, Evan Englehart.